Where am I? Where am I? Amsterdam! Hello! <laughs> I'm in Amsterdam. Um, this is my room. This is the tiny little bed <laughs> that I'm having here. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, the weird thing is there's a door to the outside, but um, it's just the street. So this is the um, Hotel Avenue or Avenue Hotel. Um, quite expensive, but it was like the cheapest I could find. Um, that was quite decent. It's the uh, uh, bathroom. That's it. It's a tiny room. Uh, I'm here for one night. Um, this is my night basically that I pri uh, pay uh, privately for. And then uh, I'll move tomorrow to a different hotel, which is then the business trip starting from that point. There's a... Is it How do you call those? Uh, it's like on a boat, like when you have those... Eyes. Bull eye? Fish eye? No. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> anyway. Um, I just arrived. I just had to cool down a little bit. It's very stressful, and both things, both hotels were just clo uh, too, uh, just a little too close to um, the airport or train station here to take a taxi. So I had to walk, and in both times it was raining, and both times I just ended up being completely drenched from rain and sweat. So I just cooled down a little bit, <laughs> and now I want to go um, try grab some food, get a cocktail, and just wander around. Uh, Amsterdam for a little bit and um, it's the only day really that I'm going to do that because um, tomorrow I need to rest <laughs> I'm mainly going to be uh, have to change hotels and then I'll just like chill in a hotel room and then Monday Tuesday is an innovation conference so I will go back and forth between the the venue and the hotel and in between I probably will be able to film a little bit but um, not not too much cool thing is last night I'm going to stay here there's a concert that I got a ticket for I'm not going to tell you yet who it is uh, and then I'll fly back on Wednesday to Dublin. Um, so, a couple days here in Amsterdam. Um, I'll go out explore. There's still a little bit of daylight, so... See you later! I want to go to that bar that got recommended, but uh, they don't have any seating for another 20 minutes. So, I'm going to continue my journey. <laughs> I did find brothels though. So I moved hotels. I'm now in the uh, the bank hotel, but I can't check in yet. Um, so I'm in the restaurant here, um, having a schnitzel and a beer, and I wait for them to finish the room. That's about two hours that I'm going to spend here, and then I'll just basically chill in the room. Although I know it's boring when I'm sat down, but I need some rest, so we'll be in the room. Um, because I have to go to the venue the next uh, two days, so you will see a little bit of me walking around uh, the canals and stuff. But today is going to be boring, just chilling and actually. Playing online poker. Okay, here's the new room. <laughs> this is a nice room. There's a lot of space here. Big bed, a lot of stuff here with couch and so on. And a pretty big bathroom, I have to say. Very different to the room I had before. And I have a feeling that this actually didn't cost that much more, but the company booked it, so it was a cheaper price. I'm um, it's, it's quite expensive, like at the weekend especially, to find a, find a room. Anyway, so this is my home for three nights. Uh, I'm going to do the innovation conference the next two days. Uh, today is just chilling in my room, and it's a nice room to chill in, so yay! All right, good morning everybody. Um, welcome here from the canals in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm on my way to the um, innovation conference that I'm up to. Thing is, I'm a little late and I have to bring my laundry to uh, a laundrette because the hotel doesn't do laundry. But this will come out cheap, I guess, in the end. And as I'm a nomad and living out of my suitcase, uh, I take the cheaper as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to walk over. I probably won't film too much right now because I'm a bit on, in a hurry. Um, but I'm trying to show you more later because this is actually quite nice and this will be my way home as well. Let's see if I get back when it's still daylight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a bit fried <laughs> just a lot of uh, inspiration now which is cool um, a lot of stuff to take take back home to work basically um, now I'm off to get some food then I'll just quickly change my my clothes a little bit and I'm going to a concert I'm not sure if I mentioned yet who it is but I'm going to see Miles Kennedy um, he is um, the singer of Alter Bridge and he was singing with uh, Slash as well and he was yeah, well, slash, slash a solo project. Um, a very, very sexy guy, Miles. <laughs> um, and I've seen him once in Vegas playing with Slash in the support act for uh, Aerosmith, so that was quite epic. Um, and he has a solo gig here. No idea how rocky it's going to be, if, if, if it's seated or no idea. But I have a ticket and I'm going to get some food and go uh, some live music and then leaving Amsterdam again tomorrow. Okay, my babies! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, okay, I'm ready. As you can see, I'm a bit doled up. Basically same outfit, just more makeup. And I'm going to get straight to the venue now. I think the doors just opened. No idea how long it takes me to get there. Um, but I can't wait to just chill, see some live music, drool over Miles Kennedy. <laughs> um, and then as soon as he's done, just go to bed, wake up tomorrow and continue traveling. I mean, what's better? Like, that's life, right? I can't take this camera, obviously, because um, I think this camera is always this thing. People go like, what's that? What's that? Is that a taser? Is that like a bomb or something? So I can't take this thing to concerts without probably getting in trouble. So I will switch over to my, just to the iPhone. So sorry about that. It will be iPhone quality, but that's actually not too bad at concerts anyway. So see ya. so nice um, I was I was actually quite lucky that I left my uh, winter coat on so I didn't check it at the at the um, what's it called at the wardrobe 
um, because I was only wearing this and I was quite cold. Um, and then I found a good spot to stand and suddenly they started blowing the air conditioning so hard that it was like a storm, like an ice storm. So it got it all like on my side. So I was really wrapping up my, my winter coat, like, and I even put the, the hood on at some point. And people around me, like, whatever they had, like, even the girl with dreadlocks tried to, like, wrap them around her, her throat because it was so cold. Um, so I really hope I didn't catch anything because, like, the Irish Open are coming. I really don't want to be sick. But, yeah, it was double lucky that I was wearing the coat because somebody spilled a beer behind me. And I only noticed it, like, I don't even know, like, 10 minutes later or something. I was like... Why is my coat wet? And then the girl behind me said, "Oh, they spilled a beer on you." And I was like, "I didn't even notice. Like, if I hadn't worn my my winter coat, I would have worn, I would have been like completely drenched." Anyway, that was nice. I left a little early, um, just before the encore, so that I can beat the crowds and get an Uber back. And yeah, I'm back. And uh, I actually do have a full 13 hours that I can spend sleeping, resting, showering, packing and then getting ready to leave Amsterdam. So I, I will do that. Just rest. Night. All right. Um, I got a lot of rest, uh, which is awesome. And I just wanted to say I'm so happy for Miles and for rock and roll in general. Uh, and so many people showed up. I think it's the first time he did like a solo tour. It's amazing. I mean, it's good, good that people come. Um, and just want to listen to one man and the guitar. Love it, absolutely love it. Anyway, walking through the train uh, to the train station now and then uh, catching the flight back to Dublin. So I'm going to say goodbye from Amsterdam. It's been real. <laughs> it's a nice couple of days. Um, I'm looking forward now to go to Dublin and play some poker. So goodbye from Amsterdam.